Yolanda dive teams have called off their search efforts tonight after coming up empty handed. They're going to be back out here bright and early tomorrow morning, continuing their efforts. When you check it out right behind me, you see these no swimming signs posted all around out here. But a few we met say people just don't pay attention. By ground and by air, search teams spent hours looking for the missing teen. We were swimming. Okay. And my brother had drifted off and his friend went to go help him. Jasmine Swank says problems started after her 15 year old brother Zach went into the Scioto, then called for help. She says her brother's 17 year old friend named Caleb went in after him. Zach made it out on his own. Caleb vanished. My friend Caleb told us that he couldn't swim and he went to go help my brother. And we were telling him to come back towards the water where we were at and they didn't listen. Dive teams focused on areas where sonar images detected what might be something in the water. They came up empty handed. We did dive on a couple uh, areas. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we did not recover anything today. Dennis Strobel and his brother fish here often. They've seen tragedies before. I called 645 because there was kids out in the water and they shouldn't have been there because the signs, there's clearly signs posted that, you know, there's no swimming or waiting or anything like that. Don't wait in the water, don't swim because this current down here, it can move sometimes. Investigators say that the fast current plus changing depths of water make it tricky to swim in and for search teams. Now, a message for anyone who decides to go in where they shouldn't. Go to a swimming pool uh, where it's safe. This is uh, just a highly uh, um, volatile area because like I said, the, the, the current plays a big role of it. And he also adds tonight that tomorrow they're going to be paying especially close attention under the water. They say sometimes victims can get caught on trees or rocks underneath the water. And they said with the current at this point, he could be already several miles down the river. We'll keep you posted. Live in South Columbus tonight, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.